Is Luke Cage's bulletproof skin possible? Or is this not really a solid idea? Luke Cage. Luke Cage was one of Marvel's most badass heroes back in the day. Just a big dude with big muscles. He's even faced Doctor Doom, but we, uh, we don't talk about that. Anyway, Luke Cage's newest gig is a Defenders TV show on Netflix, after his first live-action appearance in his own Netflix series. So, if he's got so much success, what is there to him? What makes him cool? Well, he's got bulletproof skin. Surprisingly specific, but yeah, a pretty cool concept. But he wasn't born with it, and yes, that is important. If we're going to take a look as to whether or not humans having bulletproof skin is possible, we first need to know how he developed his powers. There is a condition known as Harlequin Ichthyosis. No, 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 not that Harlequin. Harlequin Ichthyosis is a condition in which the human body is born with extremely hard skin surrounding the body. Often there is a repeating diamond-shaped pattern in this new skin, which is where the condition gets its name from. However, this skin isn't tough enough to repel bullets. That, and it's actually a deadly condition. Most people don't survive past infancy with it, because it makes them far more prone to dangerous infections and lack of fluids in the body. So, Luke Cage doesn't get his skin from Harlequin Ichthyosis. In fact, like I mentioned, he wasn't born with it at all. Luke was subject to a mastermind experiment, similar to Wolverine or Captain America. His skin was made. So, what is it made of, and how does it stick to his body? Well, believe it or not, scientists are already working on bulletproof skin. Remember my first video on Spider-Man? I think I failed to mention the goats that are being injected with spider genes while they're fetuses. These goats not only have some spider genes in them, but they've actually been producing strong spider silk in their milk. Starting in 2012, scientists have been taking this silk and seeding it, or basically combining it cellularly with actual human skin. The result? A patch of human skin that can resist a 22 caliber rifle shot. That is, a slow shot from it. It's not a perfect material, but it gives us a clue as to how a human could have bulletproof skin on their body. Similar to how goat spider silk was seeded through the patch of unused human skin, Luke Cage could have been the subject of something very similar. They just didn't take his skin off for him. In theory, this is possible, and so would it be for people like you and me. The idea is not bulletproof, but I think it's pretty solid. Hey guys, I apologize if the audio in the next few videos is going to be a little bit rusty because I'm actually having to record late again. I've had a very busy week yet again, and that's okay because I'm getting this pumped it out now. It is a little day late, but you know what? Whatever. Both videos are going up tonight. Uh, Luke Cage is going up now, and then finally Iron Fist is going to go up after this. I'm about to work on Iron Fist, and it won't take me very long to. So I will see you guys in probably a few hours. Have a good couple hours, I guess. Hope you enjoyed the video despite the audio. Same for the next one. And after this, normal schedule's going back up. I need a week-long break. Have a good one.